Hi folks, welcome. 6th of August, Monday. And um, I'm going to try and throw. Yeah, maybe I should just show you that one we did the other day. Which is, uh, I did finish it off. This guy. Uh, the detail that I was talking to you about was that on the top of the handle that little roller wheel that I put there that's all I did in in the end I didn't uh, like I said put something along here I decided that less was more and um, so I'm going to try and throw another one something like that and I've got here this is just under nine pounds of clay which see how we go oh, I was out playing badminton last night and I don't know what I did but I was like done something to my shoulder so I will do my best however yeah Yeah, I was going through my emails this morning and I I felt gratified to see that somebody wants to order another wheel. So I now have four of the five wheels taken. So anybody wants a leech treadle wheel? I have one. One available, kit wheel, yeah, yeah, centering up the clay. Cutting it, cutting it up and centering it down. Yeah, I wish the clay was actually a little, not quite so stiff. Yeah, it's a little stiff, but... So I'm going to go down to the bottom, as deep as I can, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Okay. Just stick my needle tool down, you know, just to, for larger pieces, I sort of find that it's, it's not a bad idea to do that. It's not so easy to judge with a, a bigger piece when you're throwing more poundage of clay to always to gauge how thick the base is so not a bad idea to just check oh. yeah it's a hot one today and kind of sticky you know Mirror is not much good for this form because it gets too big and it outgrows the mirror. <laughs> Keep it wet. Alright, I've 
I've got a new tool to try out. I, it's a crazy idea. I don't know if it's going to work. I'll show it to you. It's one of my scrapers. Um, and then I've attached one of the, these things. I don't know what you call them, but something to do with babies or something. I'm not sure what it is. And I stuck a hole in the bottom of it. I'm going to use that as a water feed to the edge of the tool. I'm going to dip, fill this with water from my water pot here. And then as I do my lift, it's going to feed water down onto the blade. Yeah, just a just a tool I thought. I thought, I wonder if that would work. I'll give it a try. It might not work. We'll see. So I'm going to dip it in the water here. Fill it up. So now you'll see you'll see how it's uh, how the water is feeding down here, right onto the edge. We'll see. We'll see. I don't usually throw with a rib like this, but I I remembered when I used to go and see when I went to see Guy Wolf one time ten years ago or so. He was throwing his big garden pots and he was using one of these. And I kind of got, at the time I got into the way of doing it. I don't know if I'm it's going to work because I'm see how much clay is coming off. It's kind of cutting off too much clay at the minute. Maybe I should use it later. I'm going to go back to my... <laughs> I'm going to go back to my old hands again. So... So if you want to keep the top a little bit a little bit beefy then as you do your lift just stop short half an inch from the top you see and then you you you'll build up as it were a thicker a thicker top So a knuckle lift, because I can get more rigidity. I can get a more rigid. Let me turn that fan off, because it might be making a noise on the microphone. Oh yeah, the other one has got a quite a lot narrower, so I do that one. Ten inches. So it's I need to actually bring it in a bit at the top here.
to bring it more in line with the form of the previous one I made. Yeah, this one I've thrown, this one's just over a pound lighter in clay than, than that other one. Because I thought I threw the other one a little bit heavy. Oh, jab my finger in the top. Yeah, caught my thumb in the top there. It's all right there. Now I've let it get a little bit wider in the top than I really wanted. Yeah, I don't know about my tool here that I had, I had thought. Feels a little bit cumbersome in my hand, I'll be honest. Maybe, I, maybe I'm inventing tools where I don't need to. <laughs> Got your hands, Simon, use them. True. So what I'm looking for, and it helps, it helps to just get off the wheel. La, la. Yeah, it's a little. Let's just bring the camera down so you can have a peek at it. Ooh. It's a little wider at the top than I actually I had in mind. And um, we'll bring the other one alongside it in a minute. Yeah, it's, a <laughs> it's actually not quite as big as the other one. It's supposed to be as, as big <laughs> with less clay and I, and I haven't really succeeded. Well, I guess I'll have to guess I'll have to do some more practicing when I on these. Yeah. Trying to look for that slightly 
sort of undercut a little bit of a shoulder there. La la la. So looking for a nice full form. See, I've already, I've already lost that amount of clay using that, uh, using that uh, home invention tool. So I'm just looking here at the rim, looking to. It's a nice form, it's a nice form. It's just not exactly the same as the other one. But, uh, um, that's all right. We can live with that, can't we? Just trying to get the belly, a nice flowing belly, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm going to bring the other one alongside it so so you can see. I'm going to just leather this again. Leather the rim. Yeah, I've got a workshop coming up this weekend. And I just realized I've only got two people on the workshop. So I'm really under the number that I usually like to have three people before I run a workshop. And I see I've only got two. So if anybody wants to last minute, a last minute um, join us on a workshop this weekend, that's the 11th, 11th and 12th, I think. Uh, just, just write to me, simonleachpottery at gmail.com and say, yeah, I'd love to come. I know it's short notice, but I'd love to come in. You don't need to bother to send me a deposit or anything, just turn up. Okay. Comprendes? <laughs> yeah. Or more than one of you, well, you know, I can take six or seven. Maybe there's a group of you out there, I don't know what you're going to do this weekend. Okay. Let me bring the other one. So that was the other one, you see. It's similar, isn't it? I mean, um, it's a little wider in the top. And this has got, arguably, just a little more neck to it than that one. I could probably play around with that one, actually, and um, probably stiffen it a little bit let it stiffen a little bit and then narrow it still a little further right on the very top here okay so yeah so there it is folks uh, let's bring the camera down one more time just for you to scrutinize um, so that was about 8.9 pounds when I started. I lost a bit of clay en route, uh, as one does, I suppose. I just happened to lose rather a lot on that one. But uh, yeah, it's a nice form. I'm happy with the form. 
we'll see how see how heavy it is when I come to uh, lift it off the wheel. All right, so please go to my website, Simon Leach Pottery, SimonLeachPottery.com, and uh, I've got to have a firing. Got to get some pots up there on that darn Etsy site. Um, and as I said, I have one leech treadle wheel available if that interests you. Okay? Hey, thanks a lot for watching, folks, and keep practicing along with me. <laughs> and I will see you around town in the next clip. Bye bye.